1st of June in Madrid, we've got the Champions League final between two English teams, of course, Liverpool and Tottenham. Now this, being a United fan, pains me to say, but what a sensational season Liverpool have had, to be fair. They have. In the lead, they lost just the one game, 2-1 away at the Etihad. You know, if they get a draw there, they not only win the league, but they repeat the Invincibles performance Absolutely. as well, and everyone's talking about them as one of the greatest sides ever. I've got, I've got to stop praising <laughs> it. It hurts too much. Just a couple of things I did jot down. They would have won the, the, the season that Leicester won the title. Liverpool would have won it by 16 points. I mean, that's amazing. You look at Tottenham, they lost 13 games in the league. 13 out of 38. That's almost one in three and still qualified for the Champions League. I don't know how they did that. In 2010-2011, Birmingham lost 15 games. That's only two more and were relegated. Sure. That's, that's, that's stunning. Two games difference. One team's in the Champions League, another team gets relegated. That's, uh, that, uh, that's bizarre. How do you see the game going and what players are attracting you? Oh, I'm, I'm going to say, just to start with, yes, you're a United fan, Dean. I'm a Leicester fan, so that Leicester stat hurt in a place <laughs> well, I can't. At least you won it. I know, right? More I know. recently than we have. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, I'd say it being a great game. Uh, both teams have got such a lot to play for. Um, Klopp hasn't won a trophy yet. Poch hasn't won a trophy yet either. They both really need to push themselves to get that trophy. And if the first thing that you win is the Champions League, mm. I mean, you, 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 you can't win a bigger trophy than that as a club manager. Um, the players I want to look at today um, for uh, from the uh, through the lens of Football Index, Mo Salah. So he's been consistently one of Liverpool's best players over the last two years. Definitely. Um, two seasons ago he was the best player in the season just gone he's up there I mean he's still joint golden boot winner um, he's worth £4.97 pence per share on the index um, Salah despite his amazing goal record um, or I should say in addition to his amazing goal record it's also fantastic for media dividends um, which are our uh, media based uh, it's, an, it's an algorithm it's 25 news sources um, we pick out the names of players um, who have positive mentions in the media. They go into our rankings, and the top of that ranking mm. um, wins media dividends, which we pay out every day. Um, Mo Salah is perfect for that because he's part of this Liverpool team, which is constantly mentioned in the media, and he's such a crucial part of it as well that his name is always near mm. the forefront of, the, of those articles. So it's a brilliant way of winning media dividends. Um, and I, th I think he will have an impact on the final as well. Um, the second player I want to mention, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Two pounds eighty-seven pence on the index, which is which is a good price for for, for a, a defender of such caliber. I think he's 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 getting towards being proving every week. Absolutely, yeah. I mean he's getting towards being the best right back in the mm. world. Um, he's got I think twelve assists this season. Uh, this season, so which is the most a defender's ever got in the Premier League, um, and he, he's perfect for again like Mo Salah in play dividends, um, which are based around. Um, goals and assists just because of his brilliant assist ratio um, and I mean when you win assists um, in the fashion that he did against Barcelona I mean corner. it's just I, 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 th I think it might be the best corner I've ever seen yeah. just because of the sheer audacity yeah. of it um, so yeah Trent Alexander-Arnold Always fantastic and a play that's up there for me. Um, I can't discount Spurs though as well. I've got Lucas Moore written down. Um, he's worth £1.31 on the index and has flown in the last couple of weeks um, after his... He must have his, gone oh, right up there after, after his, that. Yeah. Honestly, his, his hat-trick in a, in a Champions League semi-final and he still might not play if Harry Kane yeah, is, yeah. Is, 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 is potentially coming back in. Um, so, I mean, that... The, that's keeping more in the media at the moment. Um, will he play? Will he not? Obviously, he's getting positive mentions because he scored that brilliant hat trick, mm. and, and you know, it almost seems unfair that he wouldn't get get into the squad that plays in the final in the end. However, you can't discount Harry Kane because he's yeah. consistently been Tottenham's best striker over the last couple of years. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a fantastic final. I, 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 it's, I think it's the game I've looked forward to most this season by a distant mile as well. And, and how do you see it ending up? It's a tough call. I do think Liverpool are going to win it. Um, I think they're going to score a couple of goals as well. That, that they need to win it. And I think they do have more strength in depth and a little bit more firepower up top than, than, than Tottenham do. I've got written down 3-1 as my final result to Liverpool. 3-1. Well, we were looking at some of the stats since Pochettino's arrived at sure. Tottenham. They've met Liverpool 11 times. Tottenham have only won once. Oh, wow, OK. Yeah, we was quite surprised at that. Liverpool won six, drew four. 
as I said earlier, I think Liverpool just been fantastic yep. all season. I mean, you look at it, if you're an outsider looking in, you know, maybe that doesn't bet on football very often. And you said these two teams have just played in the same league all season. Yep. One of them lost once, the other team lost 13 times. You arguably could think Liverpool should be even shorter than they are. Absolutely, yeah. I think what gives Tottenham a chance is on the night, on a one-off game, we know how good Tottenham can be at their best. They've sure. just put City out, obviously, of the Champions League. At Anfield earlier in the season, they run Liverpool very close. when It was a late goal, yeah, I think, yeah. Liverpool won 2 one So we know they can do it. And also, you could look at there's less pressure on Tottenham. I mean, I, I've got quite a few friends that are Tottenham fans, and they're just... I wouldn't say they're just pleased to be there, but they're almost in shock to be there. Yeah, yeah. And anything now is a bonus. Whereas Liverpool have had such a great season that if they walk away from this, not winning this, you know, and end up this season with nothing. So if there's quarter of an hour to go and teams are level, is the pressure more on Liverpool? Sure. I, I think the pressure is more on Liverpool from the start. To yeah, those who, I, I exactly. agree entirely with that. But for but all having the said all that. I'm going to contradict myself and go back to we've got to go on the form that we've got in front of us. Liverpool have lost one game, Tottenham have lost 13. For us, it's 2-1 Liverpool. They're going to lift the trophy. And the good news for viewers out there is you won't see me for a while after that because I'm going to go and run away on some desert island just to get away from it all because I can't bear it any longer. But no, Liverpool have been great. So it's Liverpool for us, two goals to one and you're 3-1.